Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a quick review and a swatch of the new Hourglass Unlocked lipsticks. I bought five different colors. They're all pretty much nude. What a surprise, I know. But I got a lot of requests to review them and honestly I was not intending to buying any, maybe at a future sale, but I had put a poll on Instagram and it was like 85% said absolutely yes and so here we are so if you guys are interested continue watching if you're new here welcome my name is tanya i'd love for you to subscribe down below also you guys can follow me on instagram as well um i post some reels there some stories here and there but yeah let's get started so these are the new unlocked satin lipsticks from hourglass and i think they are absolutely beautiful i'll show you up close this is the packaging and it has the H and the little bunny right there because they're cru cruelty free. And you open this up and this is one of the colors. This is the color large. It has like a tiny sticker right here to tell you the name. Also on the cap, it has the name. But I really like the design. I think it's a little bit more interesting. It's kind of, you know, sitting like this. Also, there is a magnet here. It's not super intense, but it's just enough where it feels nice and luxurious. Now, it's not a very heavy product, but it does feel really nice in hand. These are supposed to be full coverage, a satin finish, and very moisturizing. Now, I have tried two of these lipsticks. I couldn't help myself. I've had them for a couple days, but I didn't have time to record. However, I'm excited to share with you guys, and I think that was a good thing that I tried them on because I wore them all day, and I have, you know, my thoughts gathered so let's swatch these lipsticks i'm going to start with the lightest color that i got and this is alpine 304 this is the color i have worn this before it is absolutely gorgeous this one is described as a warm beige and here is a swatch of it beautiful now these are supposed to have full pigmentation with one swipe, but there's this satin and creaminess to them. So I'll show you. See, that's like a full pigment from one swipe. This is the color Alpine, and I think it is a beautiful, I would say it's a little bit of a peachy nude color on my skin tone. I did use this with a lip liner, and it just worked so, so well. They're extremely comfortable. There's a sheen to them, but they're not too shiny, so I like this. I don't tend to love extremely shiny lipsticks because they move around, but these did last really well. Not through eating, they didn't last through a meal, but throughout the day, I was at church and I was just walking around with the kids. It did not budge, but once I started eating, things changed. Let's move on to Oasis, which is a neutral pink. This is how the color looks like. And let's swatch it right here. You can definitely see how much peachier the Alpine is compared to this one. So let's put this on. Mm. This is like my lips, but better. This is Oasis, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. It has a very little cool tone undertone. I know it says it's neutral, but I do see just a shift of coolness in there, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I think it'll work real well with a really smoky eye look. I think it is beautiful. Moving on to Shore, which is a medium brown. This is how the color looks like. And here is a swatch of it. I love these colors, so I'm excited. I'm curious if it's going to be a little too brown for me, but let's try it on. Ooh, there's just so much pigment from one swipe. I love that. Mm. 
Ooh, I like this one. It's definitely a little bit more 90s on me, a little deeper, but I think it's a beautiful, and if you have deeper skin tone, this could be a beautiful nude color on you. This is the color Shore. Now, because the pigment is really good, I don't think you need a lip liner. I personally always use lip liner. I don't have very defined top lips, so I feel like I need that lip liner to stop my lipsticks and help me get a better shape of my lips. I rely on lip liner a lot, but you could definitely, definitely use this without a lip liner. Moving on to large, which is a rosy brown. This is how the color looks like in the tube. And let's swatch it. I definitely could have <laughs> put these swatches a little closer together, but this is large. You could definitely see how brown Shore is compared to large. I did wear this the other day and absolutely loved it and it stayed on really well. So let's put this on. Oh, it's just like that initial pigment. It's so satisfying. So this is a color large and on me definitely pulls a little bit more cool tone, like a rosy brown cool tone color, but I do like it. I think it's kind of grungy. I did wear it with a lip liner the other day and I felt like it was really, really beautiful. I wore it with a very nude eye look and I loved it. I think it's really fun. I have here the Chanel 209 Rouge Allure 209 and it looks like this. I feel like they remind me of each other. Let me swatch it right under here. Yes, I knew it. That's the Chanel and this is the Hourglass. This is a little bit more brown. I feel like this is in between, the Chanel is in between the two uh, Hourglass ones, but it gives me a similar vibe on the lips, which I really, really like. So this uh, 209 from Chanel is probably one of my favorite lipsticks that um, I have from them. And it's it's like in between. It's not quite as brown as Shore, but not quite as cool tone and rosy as large. But I just thought I would compare those two because I may have questions. And last one is Dahlia. And this is described as Rosewood. I have not tried this one, but I'm very very excited, it looks very feminine. This is the color in the tube. And here it is swatched. It's definitely much, much pinker. I was a little bit afraid of that because I don't love very pink um, lipsticks. This is definitely brighter than I expected. I was expecting it to maybe be a little bit muted. I don't tend to wear these colors much, but I can appreciate the beauty of it and I can see a lot of people really reaching for this kind of color. Maybe when I'm a little bit more tan, I may like it a little bit more. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty, I just don't reach for these colors. They're a little bit too bright and pigmented for me. This is the color Dahlia. And these are the swatches of the five colors that I have. Starting from here is Dahlia, Alpine, Oasis, Shore, and Large. I have to mention one thing that kind of bothers me at the packaging, even though I like it and I like that it's magnet, it's slightly, it's not that intense magnet. It has to be like lined up perfectly for it to work. If you kind of turn it and putting in, put it in the wrong way, it, it won't fit right. So one thing to mention. There is a color called Tide, which is a rosy beige. It's quite nude but I have a feeling I would really like that one as well. I was hesitant to buy it because online it looked very, very nude and I kind of got scared. Maybe it would be just washing me out a little bit, but I think these are more pigmented than I realized and they have a lot more brightness to the color. They're not muted colors. Um, 
And I think that's beautiful, but I think you need to also take that in consideration when you order, like there's a color called Dove that looked like a soft peach. That was so bright. Like I swatched it in store and it looked very bright and on my skin tone. But if you're a little deeper, I think that would be a beautiful soft peach. So uh, my thoughts on these. I am surprised at how much I like these. I, I was not expecting to enjoy them this much or desire more colors. Um, I really like all of them. Even this one, it's a pretty color. I just don't wear the, this color. But all the other four, I think I will say get a lot of use out of it. Um, I think they're a little bit um, more interesting colors. The brown, the color shore is a brown, but it's flattering. And even the color large, it looks like it would be this super um, grungy color. And it is, but it's still wearable. I wore it, you know, at church and it was beautiful. It, it fit the whole outfit without being too extreme. Um, the texture is incredibly soft and creamy, but not slippery. Like these have a sheen on them, but they're not, again, too shiny where you kind of have to think about, okay, do I want a shiny leap or not? This is a very soft wearable sheen to the lipstick they are so comfortable so incredibly comfortable and I think the intensity of the pigment is quite surprising I was not expecting again such intense pigment they have some beautiful uh reds they also have a beautiful color that was coral it's called reef uh, that for summer would look so beautiful. So I think there's just a lot of variety in colors and beautiful, beautiful shades for any skin tone. So overall, I really like these. I'm surprised how much I like them. The price is steep, $38. However, the Chanel is 40 something dollars and you get less product in the Chanel than in the Hourglass. Let's see here. So the Chanel Rouge Allure has 3.4 grams and the Hourglass has 4 grams. Um, also, the Chanel is $45. This is $38. And I, I don't know, I, I, I think I like the Hourglass formula better than the Chanel. It's more pigmented, a little bit more rich, and I feel like I'm getting a better value overall. Now, are these affordable and worth the money probably not you can absolutely find some revlon at the drugstore and maybelline that have amazing color similar formula and just overall you don't need to spend the money on such expensive lipsticks however if you're into luxury cruelty free um, these are an amazing option and just overall they perform really well they last well for a satin lipstick and the color choices is just amazing maybe wait for a sale that could be an option. So that is everything for today. I really hope this was helpful and that you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.